Diabetes has emerged as a challenge to the country's health experts as more and more people develop the condition. The ailment is caused by a problem in the way a patient's body makes or uses insulin, a key component in the transfer of blood sugar into cells where it is stored and later used for energy. Type 2 diabetes, where the body fails to respond correctly to insulin, is the most common in Kenya. This means that fat, liver and muscle cells do not respond normally to insulin. As a result, blood sugar does not get into cells to be stored for energy. Type 2 diabetes is prevalent in Kenya mainly because of what experts say are unhealthy lifestyles. We are eating junk foods, we are no longer active, you know, we are, in short we are saying we are leading sedentary life, which is really a contributing factor and it's making people to be overweight, obese, and uh, being obese is a contributing factor. Nutrition remains integral in managing diabetes, meaning you have to keep a close check not only on what you eat, but how much you eat and when you eat, as it influences your blood sugar. A diabetic diet requires a balance between healthy eating and maintaining a healthy weight. Fresh fruits and vegetables, lean protein sources and whole grains will give you the nutrition you need and provide a low-calorie, low-fat, carbohydrate-conscious diet. There are so many myths out there about diabetic diet. When we say diabetic diet, it's not a special diet. Uh, there's nothing like special diet for diabetes. Although living with diabetes is very challenging, the condition is not a death sentence, a fact explained by Agnes, who has lived with diabetes for 15 years. Not everybody will tell you what to eat. Not everybody will tell you this is the way to live. But it is hard because we'll be told, some will tell you, don't eat this, don't eat this. And then there you are mixed up. So what happens after you get the education or now to take care of yourself or now to manage it, to manage it because it's a condition, you have to manage it. Agnes is just but a statistic of those who are a living proof that the condition can be managed. And her advice to everyone out there is to get tested for their blood sugar levels and know their status. A research that has been done and proven true shows that every 10 seconds someone dies of diabetes and in the same 10 seconds two people develop that disease. Diabetes is here with us and it is trickling into our society very fast. Many people call it a disease but it is a condition that can be managed. Reporting for Health Matters, I am Melin Miendo.